Good morning and happy post-election Wednesday, Benzinga Nation. This is Jonathan Mallard and Ryan Faluna with a quick Benzinga Pro market update. Ryan, it looks like we had a flip in odds overnight. I mean, last night it looked like Trump had a very high probability of winning the presidential election. And then as these mail-in ballots are being counted uh, or found overnight, it looks like the odds have flipped to, to Biden. So uh, what does this look like in terms of the market's reaction to that flip in odds? Yeah, well, thanks, Jonathan. Well, I'm not sure that it's actually post-election yet with all of these swing states still having all of their votes counted, but you're right. Last night, we actually saw Biden's odds drop considerably on the uh, on the betting sites. And as a result, the futures actually took off. At one point, the NASDAQ was up almost 4% or something like that. And then overnight, around like 4, 4.30 in the morning Eastern time, it looks like that flipped again as more votes were found. So as you mentioned, there are several swing states in this election they're still counting votes for. So it'll just be, I think we're just gonna have to wait and see uh, what happens with, the, with those votes. So I think we're just kind of in wait and see mode. Now, as far as, as what this is going to look like going forward, obviously, uh, anything that had to do with oil was was hoping for a Trump win. Uh, you have the solar and the EV products hoping for a Biden win. So watch those stocks. We'll see what happens over the course of the day. Um, the, the thing is, is that now we're actually starting to sell off a little bit in, uh, in the morning. So it'll be interesting to see if this is close enough for a contested election. Uh, we, we mentioned before that I think that that's what the market doesn't want to see, right? The, mar the only thing that the market really doesn't want to see is a contested election. They want to know the outcome of this. And frankly, at this point, I'm not sure we know the outcome yet. Yeah, those are some great points, Ryan. Um, so we'll hopefully get some more clarity here within the next 24 hours. I know the Secretary of State for Michigan said we may know the results for Michigan within 24 hours. And uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I, I think what we're waiting for is, is Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Uh, those seem to be the big swing states. I know there's a lot of talk about Georgia. I'm not sure that that's really in play. We'll see. Uh, but th those are the swing states. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I the, the interesting thing to me which is, is going to be how long is this actually going to take? And then what are going to be the actions after they announce a clear winner? So we're just going to have to wait and see. All right. Thanks again. All right. Stay calm out there, everyone. And Indeed. until next time, happy trading.